video. Oh. A video on. Oh! Terraria School! Woohoo! Terraria! Woo! Yeah! Welcome back to Terraria School. I have some slightly better armor and a slightly better bow. Ooh. One hit. One hit. This bow does 40 damage. Um, just in case anyone was wondering. So yeah, um, welcome back to Terraria School. And way, what we're gonna be doing today is we are going to be killing the Eater of Worlds. And the right way we find the Eater of Worlds is we have to destroy Shadow Orbs. So. Let's find some shadow. Oh, I think that's one. No. There should be shadow orbs. Another way of defeating said Eater of Worlds is um, by just using the items to spawn it, which is vile mushrooms and rotten chunks, but... I hope we can find... Ah, there's a shadow orb. You need to destroy three, not one, but three shadow orbs. Um, out of episode, I also got this. This is called a life crystal. And it's used to um, put your life up. So if I use it... I will then have one more heart. The blue stars will increase your mana. Which is useful for if you don't have much mana. But I have full mana since I am a pro. Pro here. Look at me. I am from Prosville. People call me pro e pro pro And yeah. You, you better... You better... Yeah, pro. So, a horrible chill goes down your spine. And I also got a gun. So, these shadow orbs will eventually make a meteor land in my world. So, once you destroy a shadow orb, a meteor will land in your world a few minutes later. I just spot another shadow orb. They will also give you a summoning weapon, a equipable item, or a melee weapon, or a ranged weapon, or a, um, some armor, I think. So, they can give you pretty good stuff. So, to destroy the shadow orbs, you need to use a hammer. Any type of hammer. I'm using the pawn hammer. Let's destroy it. Screams echo around you. And I got another gun. So, I believe it is one more. And we need to look for this one. I assume there'll be another ravine somewhere around here. It should let me summon it. So, um, the Eater of World is a giant worm that you can has loads of separate health bars. You need to kill every one of its parts to completely destroy it. So, that is how you defeat it. Once you kill a part, not if you kill the head, normal. If you kill the tail, normal. But if you kill any other part, then it will split into two. Then split into three. Then split into four. Now, I just found a, another uh, um, crystal thing right there. Shadow orb. It's underneath the third one. So, let's go to the 
third one. Um, which one is it? It's that one over there. So, uh, let's just land down here. Um, let me just clear out my inventory. Yes, I have a lot of stuff on me. You don't need to bother with that stuff. That stuff will be mentioned in a later episode. That episode may be out soon. So let's go down here. Also, um, these things are used to craft the um, stuff. So like the words, oh, they're not the right things. Like the suspicious looking eyes. But we will get onto those in another episode. You can also craft worm food, which is um, six rotten chunks, I believe, or 12, and some vile mushroom powder. And can you not? Can you not? Um. Let's mine over here. And let's summon the Eater of Worlds. The Eater of Worlds has awoken. So, let's get to the surface before we actually have a look at it. So, as you may tell, it is a powerful enemy. Oh, I think I took a piece out. So it is a massive worm, you can see it there on the map, going up. When you kill it, um, it's night right now, you need to aim for the head. It will drop demonite every hit. So, yeah. So you need to kind of aim for the head as it's coming up, like so. The Eater of Worlds is quite a powerful enemy, but and I would recommend the um, Light Spain or Blood Butcher if you have a Crimson or Corruption. From the Eye of Cthulhu, I would also recommend the um, Gold or Lead Armor, either or. And I would recommend the strategy of putting loads of campfires down like our last battle arena over here making that in the corruption and just as it's coming out of the ground keep on whacking it with your sword however if i happen to split into two parts um hello eater of worlds if I happen to split into two parts, it will then go into two. As you can see, now there are two Eater of Worlds. This is not a good thing to do, you should not do this, because it will only slow you down. As you can see, I think they form back into one. But, there is the last one. So once there are two more left, you should be safe to go. Just destroy the rest, and you are done. The Eater of Worlds will drop Demonite Ore and Shadow Scales. If I collected up the Shadow Scales, yes. This is also another item, I believe it is the... I don't know, but I think this is basically just another shadow orb. Let's see what effect. Oh, a meteorite has landed. That's what I said. So, the shadow orb is a pet, you can consider it as, which will follow you around and provide light. This is really good for when you're traveling around at night. And... Yeah, I'd recommend it. Now, that meteorite has landed all the way over there. So we're going to check out the meteorite. Um, so, 
the meteorites. Eat. I'll go talk about these in another episode, but let's just have a look at them to end the episode. So it's over there. So, I will give you a sneak trailer for the next episode. I'll go there, and then as soon as I get there, I'll end the episode. Alright everyone, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!